What's up, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's Jay Campbell, and I'm making a video here today to discuss the best way to train to build muscle. Now, again, I'm going to make this video hopefully under 10 minutes. That's the goal, shorter, more impactful, uh, more engaging and actionable advice. So anyway, the best way to train to build muscle. So let me just set this up by saying that the majority of people who go to weight gyms in the world in weightlift have absolutely no idea what they're doing. Uh, it's like, kind of like everything else in society. Monkey see, monkey do. <laughs> you know, go to the workout, go to the gym, observe other people uh, and what they're doing, which is usually nonsense, poor form, poor technique, poor cadence, poor rhythm, no uh, coordination, and then mimic, right? You know, Monica, my wife, you know, who's got an amazing physique and looks incredibly amazing, you know, at almost 51 years of age, you know, he tells me and has, you know, said and shared other places that, you know, she used to go to the gym and just look around at what other people would do and follow what they're doing and, you know, have no plan, no method of action, no progressive overload style of training, you know, no way to record and, you know, stack every training session or program or, uh, you know, month uh, to understand if you're actually making results. So the bottom line is this, I don't care how old you are. I don't care if you're 90. I don't care if you're 13. Uh, I don't care if you're a male or female, anyone today can build muscle in the gym through a focused, consistent, what I call positive muscle failure training program over time, right? So what you must not do to build muscle when you go to the gym is use ego and momentum. Most people go to the gym, especially the bros, you know, in the, let's call it the, uh, you know, the, the, the busy session uh, or the busy time between like, you know, five and eight o'clock when people get off work and they go there and, you know, it's just a meat market circus type environment, you know, in most commercial gyms, wherever it is in the world. And, you know, you watch people train and you see guys benching and, you know, shoulder pressing and, you know, doing all the beach moves, bicep curls and stuff. And they're using way too heavy a weight. They're jerking it. They're using poor form uh, relative to their body size and their biomechanics. You know, they don't know what they're doing. And it just, you know, ultimately over time, they're of course also using ego, right? Cause they're looking around and they're trying to match the other guy or the other gal next to them is lifting heavy. And so everybody's like trying to, you know, one up the other person, you know, it's a keep up with the Joneses event. Uh, and so, you know, ultimately over time training that way, it leads to muscle imbalances and ultimately injuries. And then you stop training and you know, you know what happens after that. So to just discuss muscle building and why it's so important and critically important if you're a guy or gal, who isn't doing that right now is that muscle is the greatest deterrent to the diseases of aging. And what I mean by that is that when you build muscle, your, in, your metabolism automatically uh, fires on and becomes accelerated. You also improve your insulin sensitivity. Remember over time, as insulin sensitivity uh, becomes worse and your insulin chemoreceptors in the pancreas fail, you will become a candidate, if not get type two diabetes and type type two, type two diabetes is the fastest way to death. Okay. Literally, uh, people that have type two diabetes are one foot in the grave. It's that simple. Now, this is also a disease, uh, you know, that's based on your lifestyle and it can be absolutely corrected, but it takes work. So bottom line is, uh, to truly build muscle when you go to the gym, again, regardless of your age is you have to understand how to lift to positive muscle failure. Now I, and of course my wife created a program earlier this year in 2022 called PMF systems or PMF training, positive muscle failure training. It's a video course. It's currently being sold right now on Gumroad. It's going to be moved to the J Campbell website very soon. And then I, you will start seeing it uh, promoted by me in much higher fashion than it currently is now, but it's a great program. Uh, it's currently 199 bucks. Uh, I'll probably for this video, lower it to $99 and put a link to it in it. But it's, you know, it took us a lot of work to, to create. There's also a lot of uh, written content to support the science behind training in this capacity. But obviously this video here today is just to talk about this a little bit. But when you train to positive muscle failure, you literally train to a lifting capacity that your body muscularly fails at a specific range, right? So ultimately to build muscle, you're going to go to somewhere between 20 and 25 reps, usually. Right. And that's going to be sometimes like 56, I'm sorry, 60 to 65% of your one repetition maximum. 
Uh, again, if you're not, if you're a newbie to lifting, you know, you're a neophyte, you've never trained, you've never lifted weights before, and you start training this way, it's difficult on your central nervous system um, to train in this fashion. And so usually I tell people that like, you know, you probably shouldn't be 18 to 20 attempting to train this way. You probably should have three to five years of training under your belt before you start training this way. But this type of training uh, is by far the most effective type of training that I've ever used. And I've used everything. I've done German volume training. I've done rest pause training. I've done dog crap training. I've done supersets, short sets, you know, hypertrophy training, you know, all the things that were in the mass tactics from Ironman. Uh, I mean, I've used it all, man, like, like Bulgarian burst training. I mean, I've done it all. And truthfully, like, again, once your central nervous system has adapted to building muscle and, you know, lifting weights consistently over time, um, training at that 20 to 25 rep range, uh, where you fail and you cannot get another rep without assistance will ultimately build muscle. And again, there's a lot of smart people out there that, you know, have given me this information and helped me with this, you know, Jim Brown being one of them, John Meadows, Scott Stevenson, uh, in his great book. So there's a lot of people out there that have understood how to build muscle and have adapted it to, you know, individualized programs in both the coaching circles, coaching pro bodybuilders, coaching people, uh, from all walks of life, you know, paraprofessionals, but, you know, I'm very, very skilled now, you know, after working with people for more than two decades on teaching people how to build muscle. Right. And again, I don't care really how you're, how old you are, what your biomechanics are, whether you're male or female, uh, I can help you do that. So, I mean, again, my program is great in that regard. Uh, but you know, if you're watching this video here today, let me sum this up in as simplistic fashion as I can. Um, the best way to build muscle is to train at a rep range that allows the muscles to fail somewhere between 20 and 25 reps. Now to get into the weeds on this, you're going to be, when you train in this capacity, you're always hitting all three energy systems, which are the anaerobic, the ATP phospholytic and the aerobic. And a lot of guys in the weightlifting bodybuilding world, uh, especially some of the famous strength guys, you know, they always tell people to train at like one to three to five to seven rep ranges. Um, and that's really wrong because they're ignoring all of the energy systems. And again, I know that genetics plays a role in building muscle. We can't, you know, eliminate that, you know, uh, caveat, right? I mean, there's three different somatotypes. There's, you know, mesomorphic, endomorphic, and ectomorphic. And obviously nobody is a perfect uh, combination or nobody is a perfect version of all three. There, most of us are combinations of, you know, one or two, sometimes three itself. Um, so it's like, you know, you can't just say, oh, well, an ectomorph should train this way and a mesomorph should train that way. So we're all unique. We're all N of one. We're all biochemically individual. Um, so, you know, one way of training, you know, is it going to be a, a person's not going to respond to one specific way of training better than another. And some will. Right. I mean, again, we're all different. But I definitely know that training to positive muscle failure and defining positive muscle failure is you cannot do one single more rep without assistance. Right. Or a spotter. Uh, over time consistently will build muscle because again, you're hitting all three energy systems. You're increasing lactic acid, you're increasing delayed onset muscle soreness, DOMS, you're increasing uh, hormonal profiles naturally. Again, you're not optimizing your hormonal profiles. So growth hormone and testosterone increases are only transient from the training, but obviously if combined with a good diet, if you are hormonally optimized, if you are using a growth hormone enhancing agent like human growth hormone or a peptide like ipamorelin or tesamorelin or CGC, then over time, this type of training is by far the most productive and you will build muscle uh, in the most easiest, consistent fashion. So, you know, let me just say, if this kind of information interests you, um, I do have a private membership group, fullyoptimizedhealth.com. It's only $99 a month. This is the kind of information we talk about. If you want to talk to me or ask me questions individually inside the group, um, you absolutely can. You just send me a private message. Uh, inside the group. And then you can also ask me mesh questions at the AMAs, which is the ask me any things, which are every Tuesday night at 6 PM Pacific standard time. We currently have about 170 people, somewhere between 165 and 170 people in the group right now. Uh, and it's amazing. There's all sorts of information that comes out of that every week. I also interview high level experts and researchers, and of course, physicians uh, to talk about all these type of unique topics. So again, grateful that you guys are watching this channel. Grateful that I have so many people who actually listen to what I have to say. Very, very, very supremely confident that if you start training to a positive muscle failure or in that range, you will build muscle efficiently as you age. So again, sending all of you guys tremendous love and light. I'll talk to you guys soon. Hey guys, if you enjoyed this video, head over to my email list where you will get cutting edge knowledge and info on health, hormones, biohacking, and spirituality. Join 20,000 other like-minded men and women that are looking to take their life to the highest level 
and get the inside track to becoming fully optimized. Go to join.jcampbell.com and sign up today.